bananas constitute the main fruit traded in international market and are the most popular one. Globally, they are the first exported fruit in terms of volume while they rank second in terms of value. Bananas are a staple commodity for many developing countries. Hence, the cultivation of bananas is relevant for food and livelihood security. The annual production of banana in India is 26.22 million tons from 0.71 million hectares. Banana constitutes 38% of the total fruit production in India. Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Karnataka, Gujarat, Andhra Pradesh and Assam are the major states growing banana. National average productivity is 37 tons per hectare. There is scope for exploiting the yield potential of banana in our country with better management practices. Because of indiscriminate use of major nutrients and water, several micronutrient disorders have been observed in banana. Varietal diversity, amenability to year-round production, nutritive and medicinal value make it the most favorite and affordable fruit for the common man. It has very good export potential. Banana has an assured market throughout the year. As a result, more farmers are attracted towards banana cultivation. This crop supports the livelihood of several farm families. Despite its varietal wealth, Cavendish Group is cultivated most predominantly. The popular varieties are Grand Nain and Robusta. Elaki Banana, belonging to Nepuvan Group, is another popular variety grown in Karnataka. Banana cultivation is a highly profitable venture. Hence, the farmers use all available modern management practices like tissue culture plants, fertigation, foliar nutrition, etc to get higher yields and better returns. Commonly followed spacing for banana is 5 into 5 feet. This accommodates around 1,800 plants per acre. Banana can be planted anytime during the year except during winter. Intercultivation is required up to 3 to 4 months to keep the field free from weeds. Irrigation once in 5 to 8 days is recommended depending on the climatic conditions. Under drip irrigation, provide water daily with 20 to 25 liters per plant during summer. 10 to 15 liters per plant is enough during the remaining months. Remove all the suckers and retain one sucker per plant after bunch emergence. The bunch emerges 7 to 8 months after planting. It will mature and be ready for harvest in about four months. Banana requires heavy feeding of all nutrients, especially nitrogen and potash. Recommended dosage of major nutrients is 180, 108, 225 grams of NPK per plant per year. In addition, Banana also requires a micronutrient supplement to enhance the yield. Major portion of the nutrients, especially the micronutrients, applied to the soil is not absorbed by the roots. Hence, the uptake of nutrients is as low as 20 to 30 percent through soil application. Poor soil aeration due to excess water and soil compaction and other limitations like drought, salinity, soil acidity, etc. are the main reasons for root inactivity. It reduces uptake of nutrients. Panama wilt and root knot nematodes affect the root system, which results in poor nutrient uptake. This problem is more prevalent in plantations with ratoon crop. Hardly 3 to 5 percent of zinc, manganese, iron, copper and molybdenum applied to the soil are available to the plant. It takes 2 to 3 weeks for roots to absorb nutrients and reach the leaves. 
Ultimately, the crop shows signs of nutrient deficiency. This ultimately results in reduced yield and quality of the fruit. In order to mitigate this problem, application of micronutrients through foliar sprays is recommended. Foliar Nutrition Supplying plant nutrients through leaves by means of sprays is called foliar nutrition. Plants can absorb nutrients directly through stomata and cuticle of the leaves with better efficiency. Foliar sprayed nutrients are available for the plant within one or two days against two to three weeks in case of soil application. This speedy absorption helps in correcting the deficiency quickly. Banana, due to its large leaf surface area, is ideally suited for foliar nutrition. Indian Institute of Horticulture Research, Bengaluru, has developed a crop-specific foliar micronutrient formulation. This Arka Banana Special is very popular among farmers. This formulation is specific to banana crop. Many farmers who have used Arka Banana Special acknowledge its beneficial effects. Let us meet some of them. Here is a young farmer, Mr. Subraya Hegre Sirsimaki of Uttar Kannada district of Karnataka. His banana plants were seriously infected with root knot nematodes. Spraying of Arka Banana Special helped him to get a good crop. <laughs> Tissue culture by Gadagan Tando, Nati Marde, Nati Marde undo Erdmur Tingla, Utamada undo growth it to Balagadu Nantra de Nagalle, Sulp Summer Second Vonto Aganano Tajan and Karasi Parasilis Daga, Namjagal in Nematode in Samase, Tira Wagate and Terekando, Aganano, Aya Echar Dordo, Banana Special and Tando, Spray and Marlike, Param Marde, Idrinda and Balagadago, Takamatic Recovery Age, Samania undo. Mata the Ilvari and Modena Bellel Sikto. You get a Nebelinda, Nemitawagi, then a Pramba the Hunter in the Lupio Stadene, Valle Undo Parinama, Nangbale, Kandvertide. Now let us hear from Mr. A. V. Narendra of Alur village in Hiriur Chitradurga, who has been cultivating Elaki banana in twelve acres for the past six years. Moderately saline irrigation water had affected the yield considerably in his plot. By spraying Arka Banana Special, the farmer was able to harvest a good crop and realize better returns. Banana Special spray mod at Kina Munche. Now we have one go brown with fertilizer potro saitana. Now we have a little banana special spray mod was to Ilverina now on the fertilizer spot of Botailla. Mr. K. Suresh, a progressive farmer from Bochapura village of Chitradurga, has grown a variety of banana locally known as Salem in four acres. The soil and water being saline, sprays of Arka Banana Special proved beneficial. It helps in better absorption of applied nutrients and enhances yield. <laughs> Now let us meet Mr. B. V. Tipaswamy of Jarekunte village in Hiriur. He has grown Jinain banana in 5 acres. The crop growth is excellent, which he attributes to regular sprays of banana special. 
He endorses the beneficial effects of banana special based on his previous experience of growing banana without foliar nutrition. Mr. Ramachandra Hegde of Tumkur district has 5,000 plants of Jinain banana in this garden. He regularly sprayed Arka banana special. The last season his Elaki banana plants were affected with Panama wilt. Yet it produced average bunches with Arka banana special spray. <laughs> IHR special and Yatariga LML spray Marta, the other solution and Madi, one get a Tatian Gidakuno, Aki, the Buddha Adrinda Namge, Valle growth Bandide, Ella micronutrients to balance Agide, the other one good the Lunamge, Porte Kandarta. Mr. Ramesh of Gopalpura village of Bengaluru rural district grows banana for many years. He is very happy with the result of Arka Banana Special. In fact, he is asking for a foliar nutrient formulation for other crops as well. Now let me demonstrate the method of application of Arka Banana Special. Make a solution of Banana Special mixture by adding 5 grams for every 1 liter of water. To 25 liters of this solution, add contents of one sachet of any brand of shampoo and the juice of one big lemon fruit. Shampoo and lemon juice are important components of the mixture. The shampoo spreads the solution evenly on the leaves. The lemon juice corrects bad quality of water. Spray the solution on the leaves during the 5th, 6th, 7th and 8th months after planting. Also, spray once on the bunch, one month after its emergence. Drenching the solution is recommended once at the 15-day stage for tissue culture plants and the 45-day stage in case of sucker planted banana. Apply 250 ml of the solution around each plant, 30 cm away from the plant base. Do not forget to add shampoo and lemon juice for this drench solution also. Soil application of micronutrient is not necessary if the foliar sprays are followed. This Arka banana special can be mixed with any pesticide except with copper fungicides. Remember to use only the freshly prepared solution for spraying. Absorption of the nutrients is better if sprayed between 6 and 11 am and 4 and 6.30 pm. Sprays directed to the lower surface of the leaf will reduce the wastage by evaporation and gives best results. Spray the solution in mist form. Bigger droplets will drop down instead of spreading. Wet the leaves and the bunch thoroughly to achieve best results. Foliar nutrition in banana will cut down the cost of fertilizer use by one-tenth. Recovery from the deficiency starts within 24 hours. Bunches will be uniform and fingers will be attractive and bright yellow.